got that out of the way. So the first thing I always like to do is start by building the kitchen area. This is how I've always made my kitchens. I always do it uh, like this, create a little boundary. And then from there, I add usually a crafting table or you know a furnace, which is always good. I think it looks good. Alrighty, there we go. So now you can see I can just add basically whatever I want. Um, oh shoot, I don't have any cobblestone to make a furnace. That's something I'm definitely going to want to do. But then again, boom, boom, put a chest right there. Again, I want to put two furnaces right there. So let me go acquire some cobblestone. I might have some in these chests. If I do, that would be lovely. I don't think I do. Wow, I have one regular stone and uh, one cobblestone. So that's a little bit unfortunate. Let's go grab some cobblestone right now. So I'm trying to make these, this is basically, this is what happens. This is the creative process by, ooh. Wow, oh, this would be pretty cool to explore. I did not know I found something right there. That's interesting. So I think it's eight cobblestones to go around, eight or six or one of the two. I can't really tell. All I'm looking for is enough to make two or three. And that is going to be plenty right there. Get out the way, chicken. So this has been quite a process making this video, but I honestly think it's worth it because I think it looks good. So there we go. One, two. Perfect. So let's just bring this right here. That's bothering me that that's not right there. And there we go. And see, that looks good. That's what you want right there. And then to finish it off, you just add some torches uh, right there. I don't know what to put right there. I might put, actually, I do know what I'm going to put right there. Since this is going to be a little bit of a bigger room, we might as well put a window that looks right out. There you go. Just another opportunity to add some natural lighting. This is going to be more of a, oh shit. Uh, of a deluxer style of sweet. So again, that's going to be nice. Um, I don't really know what to do right there. I might as well throw up another one of these. There we go. Okay, so that looks fine in my opinion. So the second thing you want to do is make space for uh, a bed, whether that be one or two or three. And what I like to do is go ahead and dig this out. Collect the cobblestone and replace it with a wool pattern. Go there. And then I could put three black ones in the middle. There you go. Simple pattern like that it just brings out the room a little bit. Um, so let's create some beds. I'm feeling three beds. Maybe we can, yeah, three beds will work just fine because we can put one right there one right there and then one in the center <laughs> I this that was just kind of something I did at the last moment wasn't really thinking about doing three beds boom there you go let's fill this up because that is really bothering me it's getting dark that's okay though boom so there we go that pattern looks pretty good now, since I don't want the cobblestone to be touching there, it also kind of acts like a, a rug of some sort. So a more of a homier feel. And since we just placed the beds, it'll give us a perfect opportunity to test them out and go to sleep. It is night game. Don't tell me what I cannot do. Bingo. All right, so that adds a little bit of lighting. Let's go to sleep. Uh, I think when I wake up, I'm actually going to add some paintings. That will be nice. Uh, paintings, windows, chairs, you all want to add that. So let's go on over here. Let's see, I need sticks and I have wool. So I need sticks. Perfect. Two paintings. Let's see if we can get one that stretches along the wall. Oh, 
Oh, if only that was like one over. That would have been that would have been a good one. All right, let's see if I can get another one like that. <laughs> I know. Come on. I'm all about getting the right painting. Okay, that's gonna work just fine. Now let's just change that one, and hopefully I can get it to. There we go, perfect, bingo, that looks good. Sorry that took so long. Put a torch right there, and boom. So another thing I'm gonna do is, since this is a little bit of a bigger room, just add another window. First off, it takes up space, but it also looks nice, so. Let me go grab some more glass. I have some glass in this furnace because I knew I was going to be making another window. There we go. So essentially, to some degree, this is what I've been doing for every window, or not every window, every room. And then probably the last thing I might end up doing is create a rug. There we go. Just to give it a, a bit more color, like I said. Now the last thing I like doing is adding sort of a bathroom slash sink area. So what I'm gonna do is to create the bathtub effect. Go like that, and go like that, and then you're gonna need half stones. So it looks like we need wood, I have plenty of that, and half stone. And you throw those half stones down like that, and that looks like a bathtub. One more thing you can do just to make it look a little bit more legitimate is maybe throwing some signs on there. I know that's what I'm gonna do right now, just two signs. Oops. There we go. So just place the signs in my inventory right there. And if you want no spaces on your signs, pro, or if you want no writing, just do a space bar all the way down to done. And then I'm going to do one right here. Space bar, done, and bingo. And that looks like a little bit more like a bath. And probably the last thing you can do, my friend actually showed me this. You can put some levers, and if you throw them down, they look like sinks, like faucets and stuff like that. So anyways guys, that's the creative process behind making a room in the Kyoto Grand Hotel. Obviously I might make a few more changes, but I don't want to bore you to death on this video. So again, that has been kind of an update slash creative process of what I have been doing. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I just took you a big walk around around the hotel. Have a nice day. I'll see you in the next episode and uh, I will talk to you later.